Hello my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me Mark from Dadex and today we're going to look at one of these level 4 missions. I'm going to run it in the heavy missile launcher drake. I'll have a very quick look on the fit but we won't dwell on it. I've got tech 2 heavy missile launchers, firing fury, I've got 55 kilometers range because we get a nice range bonus on the navy issue drake. Something we do lack on the Praxis. Just two large shield extenders, one afterburner one multi-spectrum shield hardener, one EM shield hardener for this site, for these missions. One peripheral compact target painter, of course, three of the ballistic controls and one nanofiber internal structure to make us a little bit more agile. We've got one EM reinforcer in the rig slots and two extenders. It's as simple as that. We've got just under 600 DPS with the rage. Hitting out to a nice long range, they'll apply quite well. We've got regular ammo as well. We're not going to use any navy ammo. I've used no navy ammo on any of these runs. It's too expensive for the money that you're getting on these missions, quite frankly. And in the drone bay, we've got acolytes and infiltrators correctly, again, because we do want EM damage. Because the mission we're doing today is uh, well, it's a sequence of five missions called Pot and Kettle. And I've run these through once. They're not very taxing, but I don't want this to be taxing. This isn't about that. And it dropped me, I think, about 90 million in loot altogether through that mission. Which by far exceeds anything else I've seen. Although still, I haven't done all the missions that are in the rotation. Now, I mentioned this to a few people going, my god, is this normal? And uh, their response was, oh, we don't do that mission. It's really bad for your standings. Now, it is quite bad for your standings, I guess. In fact, here is me running that mission. And... The grand total, well, I'm down to minus 1.43 with the Amar Empire. That one mission has put me down about minus one, about minus one and a half. And a, a little bit on the, about minus one and a half for running the mission. So in theory, you could run this sequence of missions three times and still not get to that minus five standing. That means they'll aggress you. But I understand there are all kinds of reasons you wouldn't want bad standings. One guy simply said, I want to be able to run level 4 missions with all 4 empires, which is fine. It's not a concern of mine. I did get to minus 5, or beyond minus 5, with the Kaldari once. They aggressed me. I did the Sisters of Eve arc and learnt some skills. I will just mention my skills. You can see my diplomacy skill there is only level 3. That's what's mitigating uh, my standing which would be minus 2.98 <laughs> if it wasn't for that skill my social skills we will just have a very quick look at they're relevant here i've not trained them very well um back when i was running missions uh, quite consistently i wanted to get into a barge i wanted to get into a battleship you know i was still at that stage of the game when there was too much to learn to cover it all and uh if i was going to do this seriously i'd definitely train up diplomacy I'd probably invest in security connections, which is quite an expensive skill book, but gives you 10% bonus per level to let LP reward on a mission. And of course, which is the other one? There you go. Yeah, negotiation is an extra 5% ISK per mission. So that's a useful one. But uh, if I was going to do it seriously, I'd put more time into these missions. But this skill queue got stolen from this alt the day I went to low sec with a newly rolled alt. What can I say? Right. There are five missions, I've run them before, we'll have a little quick look at the mission guide. First one is a little bit of combat, all we actually have to do is kill this prophecy and we can blitz it once we have, just leave. But I'm going to kill everything, I'm going to try and get as much loot as I can, I'm going to watch out for the uh, guys that mess with MTUs and mitigate their ability to mess with me. I'm going to give you the edited highlights of the first four sites, or I should say the first four missions. And then it's the fifth mission, which is the one that drops. It dropped me 74 million. It's mostly in these tags down here. These general tags and the Imperial General uh, Navy General 2 tag. They're very expensive. It's very good. But it does hit your standings. But I thought I'd show you one run through this sequence of missions. Just so you could make a bit more of an educated decision yourself, really. You know, yeah, it's a hit to your standings. But for 100 mil injection, maybe it's worth it once in a while, eh? Anyway, I'm going to head off, get organised, run these missions, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, we just landed on grid for the first mission. We got 10 heavy assault cruisers and a couple of turrets. 
The turrets are the only things on this mission, I, I checked on the last run through, that you get a bounty for. The prophecy is the actual target. If we kill him, we can leave, but we're going to kill it all. So we're actually going to untarget the prophecy, just in case I get carried away. Our range is 55 kilometers, so we're going to head over here. Get the afterburner running. As soon as we hit 55 kilometers, we'll start hitting these assault cruisers. There you go, we're off, we're in the game. And these should go down pretty quickly with these rage missiles. 55 kilometer range. And again, we can time it maybe to know when the last one that's going to kill him is already on the way and shot off the launcher. Let's see, let's just get on with it. It's not a big deal. We should be able to just look, be missed a lot in this ship. That's what I love about this ship. Let me just get my overview. I want to know how fast these things are going. Not at all worried about their tracking disruption. They can do that all they like. Right, let's kill the next one. They're coming in a little bit close on us now. So we're just going to turn away. Over that way will be fine. We don't want to fly straight away from them. Because that will minimise the transversal. And we want some of that. Right, we've got these frigates going on here now. It's them doing all the tracking disruption. But they're not really going to do any damage. We should start pulling a bit of range maybe on some of these guys now. Yeah, we're a good bit faster than all of these rats. So we're in charge of the range. That's all down to us. If we want to look for people, or keep an eye out, I should say, for people scanning down our MTU, we'll put our D-scan down to 5 degree, uh, sorry, 5 AU range. We'll just leave it there. And we'll give it a scan every now and again. If we see combat probes on there, then we know someone's probing down potentially us. If they get any closer, if we go down to 1 and they're coming to look for us, then yeah, for sure. I missed that in local. That's the guy that I showed you on the kill board in the last video shooting a MTUs. And I'm guessing that's what he did. That was in the next system over. See, this is what I don't get about high sec. Is that all you've said about that? Obviously, I've left. But do you not say, hey, guys, this guy just killed my MTU. Watch out. Watch out for the combat probes on your D scan. Do you not talk to each other at all in high sec? Because it's so quiet. I see a couple of sort of friends saying hi. But uh, I think the local comms, in the sake of intel and security, could be much better. That's just my observation. Compared to low sec, high sec is so quiet in local. Even if half of it in low sec is <laughs> uh, noise. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll be polite. No. Seriously, I don't know why these locals aren't much busier just with intel. You must learn over time who you can kind of trust a little bit. You don't have to let them fly your orca. But seriously, and there's also, you know, there's there's a way to kind of counter the MTU guys, but it's going to take two or three of working together. Do any of you do that? There's no tower, there's no station in there. Let's get in close to this now with Dunny. <laughs> turn off that micro, turn off the prop mod so we can get a nice tight orbit. Hopefully there's not many wrecks left to come. There's a few. I'm just going to sit and ride it out. I'll come back to you when they're done. I'm going to sit and babysit the MTU. Should we see what's in it already? Let's have a look when I get into range. Got six mil already. I'll grab that out. I'm going to do a separate container for the just the loot off of this run as well. I'll just stop the ship here, I think. This can take a long time to drag in the wrecks. I was tempted to get the Noctus out. In fact, I will. I've got a Noctus. It is nine years old. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's locked in a station that I no longer have a friendly standing with the owner. But he is going to let it out for me. I need to send him an email and remind him. Because that's another thing. Nobody's, nobody can come and aggress your Noctus without Concord paying any attention. I know it's a bit old school, but MTUs, you've got the convenience, but that's the vulnerability. 
back in the day when you either just shoved a load of salvages onto whatever ship whatever ship was handy and i still do like the destroyers that's my favorite for salvaging for sure the noctus was the ship um i've still got bpcs all researched for them but is there even still a market does anyone use a noctus anymore It's going to take a while for the rest of these wrecks to get dragged in so i've done some calculations no one's any no sign of anyone probing me i'm going to run next door grab the catalyst come back and i might as well salvage lise good luck mtu i've got you bookmarked haven't i yep <laughs> okay we're back in the hangar what we will do is put the mobile track to unit back in the drake and then if we take everything out of the drake apart from the mtu and the ammo and put that back in the catalyst yep so on that site loot wise we have made it says about 18.9 million that's not bad and has that affected our standings at all it has We've taken a minus 2.4 and a minus 0 0.002. We'll say about 21 mil all in. Okay, the next one is again a little bit of a fighty one. Where are we? Part 2 of 5. It, oh, it's Minesweeper. Is it Minesweeper? This one's quite fun. It's quite odd. Yeah. Basically, there are mines in the pocket and as you kill them, they respawn other ones. And uh, there is a way of killing the right mine to get the mission completion ship to spawn the quickest. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, we're out on the site. Each time you shoot a mine, it spawns four battle cruisers or cruisers, which as you can see, die very quickly. And I'm just sitting on the war pin for this site. I've put minimal effort into this, to be quite honest with you. I may even have Netflix running. Now what you do need to be aware of, I'm going to put some drones out now and they are absolutely fine to go off and sh beat up these ships as much as we want them to. However, I knew from the last run that if you send your drones to kill one of the mines, they get killed because the mine pulses damage when you hit it. But what completely catches me out here, I've got the drones right over on this side. Last rat left. So the drones are over here. I'm about 41 kilometers from the mine I'm going to target. The drones are about the same range away, but the moment I shoot at that mine, watch this, bang, I shoot, my drones are gone. I've taken 555 hit points of damage. So I recommend that, well, I'm telling you probably do not just come up here with only drones for damage. Just make sure you've got something you can kill the mine with. They're very flimsy. One rocket launcher, sorry, one missile launcher, one gun, something like that, minimum. Put the drones out to kill the rats. That's all you need to know about this site. It's, the info's all there. There is a way of threading your way through the mines and the spawns to get to the rat you need to complete the mission quickly. But let's see what we get loot-wise at the end of this one. Well, the mission guide was pretty much right. 2.4 million. We are done. I shall delete my bookmarks. Because I don't need them. I've got my MTU. We can dock up. So that's part two done. 2.4 mil. On the standings, we lost another 0 0.24 and another 0 0.002. And we're down to minus 2. Don't adjusted from minus 3.6. I did have a little think, actually. Something I need to keep an eye on is the fact that I need to make sure, before I get banned, I use up these 19,000 loyalty points. If I take it that far, we've now got 52,000 Fed Intelligence LP, not all from this spate of uh, mission running. The Amar Navy LP came from my last time out in Nolsec Ratting. The next mission is very simple. I think it's a four jump 
courier mission we literally just drop that stuff off and that mission is done i think that's all you need to know you can figure the rest out for yourselves really can't you Part 4, Seek and Destroy. We need to go and attack some pirates and bait in some recon ships. Take out the recon ships and we are done. All very straightforward. About 2,100 loyalty points and about 1.2 million isk. Lovely. So nothing really scientific to this mission. We just need to plod through it. As we kill stuff, we'll get groups of free recon ships spawning. We've killed all them. The mission is done. So let's get on with that, shall we? There's a little uh, note at the bottom of the mission description just reminding you about the rules on declining missions. A bit late. Okay, so we've landed in that mission. We've got one big mob over there. We just work our way through the big mob. And over time, I think they're all timed spawns. We'll get some drones spawn, which we'll take down. And then the recon ships start spawning in groups of three. We work our way through it all until we're done. And here we are at the conclusion of the site haven't really made a great effort on the site to push it at all nice and easy been keeping an eye on the d-scan just to make sure no one's lurking i don't know what the loot's like on this one but we'll see here's the catalyst in action very speedy little salvager i could actually fit tech 2 salvagers on here they would squeeze on but it seems to be doing the job not a great haul of the salvage and what we actually got in loot Nothing extravagant, to be honest. There you go. Certainly better than nothing. I say nothing. It's nearly... Well, it's over 9 mil. That's not bad. Off we go. All done here. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're on to the main event now. 5 of 5 to battle. Now I've got the mission guide up here. Got two pockets. All the same, really. These three mobs here they don't aggro each other but it does say there's one group 120 kilometers away so i'm going to stick with the heavy missiles just so i've got the range i think that's probably a good plan i'm just going to plod my way through this as i said before this isn't a heroic run it's these tags we're after okay we're in the first room we're running at two times speed on the footage i've checked my got my d-scan set up I've checked local, there's nobody dodgy around. There was a flashy guy here when I arrived, but he's left. I do keep a little look on who's local. The quieter a system is, sometimes it just makes you stand out more. I'm locking up the first mob that's in range, not expecting anything else to aggro on me. What I do find is that second group over there does come out to aggro on me too, which means I get all the frigates and destroyers chasing me out. So this can quite often happen at the beginning of a mission. Uh, the frigates are going to charge out and get webs on me. Now, because I'm slow, I'm just going to turn away. We don't want to uh, run straight away from the rats because we do want to maintain some traversal. That's very important. Don't fly straight away from the rats ever. And we're basically just going to ride this out knowing that we can take down all these frigates in good time for their webs to be off us. By checking the relative speeds of the ships, I've got the speeds up on the overview of the rat slayer. I know that once I'm not webbed, my afterburner is going to get me moving at 500 meters a second and I can pull range to my heart's content and I'll be in control of this room. If you've got a micro warp drive on your ship and you're webbed down like this, do not run the micro warp drive. You're just burning capacitor, you won't be moving very fast and you're blooming your signature radius and in this situation in the drake which is smaller than the battleships blooming my signature radius whilst i'm going so slowly would mean i was taking a heck of a lot more damage so if you do use a micro warp drive which is an alternative on these sites the difference being obviously you just use it to pull range very quickly and then work your way slowly back in whereas the afterburner you've got a bit more flexibility over the whole site but never ever run a micro warp drive if you're webbed down like this because it will really, really hurt. I'm holding my drones in just because there are destroyers around. There are these frigates around. I don't want them to get any aggro early on. I'm not worried about the rats, as I say. It's something you learn over time. As you watch my shield bar now, once the webs get off me and I can start pulling range, I know the shield will start regenerating and I'll be in no more danger. 
Keep an eye on that D-scan. If you see anyone probing you down, think about just leaving so they don't even know where the site is. It's not just about your MTU. And I think I'm going to wait till the end of the room to think about dropping the MTU. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to play it. I think it will depend on the situation in local at the time. Uh, I could just go and get the catalyst and come back and do the first room. I could leave all the loot till I've finished the mission. I don't know. Let's see. I think that's going to tax my brain more than running the site now. Right, as you can see, our shield is regenerating. We're pulling range beautifully. We are completely in control of this room now. It looks very pretty. Look at them all missing us. You see, it's beautiful. Yeah, we'll be back at the end of this room. It's a plod, basically, now. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm over on my cargo space to pick up the MTU. That's kind of forced my hand. Let's have a look. Right, I've seen no sign of probes. So I think I'm going to just go and get the catalyst. I don't want to leave anything lying around. I told you this was all a bit off the cuff. We've got 25 mil on board. Yeah. Mobile tractor unit is definitely that one. Bookmark. Cool. Right, let's do a runner. Okay, we're warping into the second room. When I've come back, there was one guy flashy who's left. I've checked local. There's this guy here, minus 0 0.4, and this guy here, same corp, 5.1. If I saw those two corp mates in local, I'd assume this guy was the bait and the other one was the aggressor. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on that D scan. We'll put that back down to 5. We'll keep D scanning. We're looking at the combat probes, right? Where are these rats? Right behind us. We're going to get these frigates targeted up first. I don't think anything else spawns in this room. No. It's just what we got on the table in front of us. So we should be cool. I'm not going to put out the MTU for a while for sure. Right. Let's kill these guys. That's all the webs. All the tackle. And then we can start doing our thing. Not going to put the drones out of this stage. Unbonus drones don't do well against the mob of frigates if they do get aggressive, and these ones seem to tend to. So I'm just going to keep them in. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference to how quickly they die, to be honest with you. Does he need another missile? Go on, have one. And once again, once we've got all the tackle and the webs off the board we can put our range we're in charge we're not taking any damage at all yet oh just starting to get very very tiny amounts of damage and we can get the drones out we've got two we could snipe these two no they're in a different mob aren't they no i don't think i do want to snipe the two destroyers from here because i don't want to aggro that mob no we'll kill these guys than these guys that seems to make perfect sense to me in fact we can put the medium drones out and send them over there finish off the frigates with the missiles the frigates are over here the drones are over there so the frigates won't hurt the drones that's the theory and they're getting into this battle cruiser. So what we got? And then we got that mob over there, eighty odd kilometers away, and that mob down there, they're eighty odd kilometers away. So we'll head down towards that one. I think. Bit of missile support for the drones. I almost forgot about the work they were doing. And then we need a 70 or 74 kilometer range to get the missiles over there onto those battleships. Okay, this is the last rat here. I did drop the MTU, which I'm now orbiting. I've taken a bit of extra damage just because the rats closed in on me, but nothing scary at all. 
No sign of any probes, so nobody really seems to be uh, messing around in here right now. I'm going to move the MTU over to the other side of the room so it can pick up some wrecks over there too. And I think for now I'm just going to babysit it with the Drake and see how it goes. But um, I think going and getting the Catalyst would be the quickest option. To save me sitting around watching it too, but we'll see. Okay, we are docked up. I'm going to take the loot I've got in here and put that back in the Catalyst. And then we're going to take the Catalyst back out. Catalyst, which now is up to 46 millions worth. I guess the sensible among us may have left this here, but no. <laughs> okay, we're just getting to work on the very last wreck on the site right here. Just the mobile tractor unit to empty. I've been taking it out as I went along in case of any mischief, obviously. So there's the last of that. So let's see what the total is, shall we? 71 million. That's not bad at all. We'll have that. Let's get the MTU in. Let's not forget him. 71 million off that last mission in total. I got just a, just shy of 74 on the last run. So it does vary a little bit. But it's the tags okay. that are really the value on this site by far. Let's get locked up. We'll have a look at how we've got on overall. So here we are, all docked up, safe and sound, all five missions done, no one's messed with us. Our security wasn't in vain, it's all practice. So yeah, get your D-scan up when you're running your missions and know if someone's coming to mess with you anyway. Let's get this loot, put in the pot and kettle container and see how much we've got overall. 71 million from that last mission and 100 million, bang on, how tidy is that in loot? from all five missions and it's not a huge number of modules to go and sell which is great some might be useful but it's the tags that are really the value security status wise i've gone to minus 2.14 what i have noticed is there are specific rats dying which are mostly the towers and the mines in the mission with the mines that are the minus 0.24s to your security status the 0.002 drops are for specific ships which maybe could be avoided if you picked your way through but certainly scope to mitigate the losses and overall i'm not exactly in a horrendous situation here at all before these missions my standing was minus 1.43 modified from 2.98 it is now minus 2.14 so we've only actually gone down about three quarters of a point in the last run of the five missions it went down a bit more it is slightly variable depending it would seem on the sentry towers i've got two more minus 0.24s for killing sentry towers in the first run i didn't get in the second which is a little bit odd so there you go now you know about a minus three quarters of a point on your amar standings with very standard skills in exchange for over a hundred million isk including the actual payments and the lp and you do not need a very very strong ship to do them at all so comments are you going to give it a go do you give it a go let me know down below in a comment and if you've managed to really minimize the loss in standing with the amar by picking your way through it let me know that too so leave me a like if you've liked it if it's been useful enjoyable or entertaining or ideally a combination of the three do let me know subscribe if you want to stay in touch but for now my friends fly brave have fun, get rich, and goodbye.